Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 4, Cripples, Bastards, and Broken Things. I still don't know what this sphere is, though. <laughs> like, what is that sphere? It's, it's the Dyson sphere. You know what that is? That's because you're a nerd like me. Oh. You know what that is, babe? Is it just a never-ending spinning sphere? No. It's an object made by an advanced civilization to harness the power of a star. Oh, does it make sounds? I'd imagine it makes sounds. Oh, okay. Because Dyson fans don't. All right, pay attention now. Winter fell on it. No one told me what that tree is yet. Maybe because they're not supposed to. Thank I you, guys, if you're not. Oh, well, there's the animals. That's not the animals I was talking about. I'll show you the animals. Oh. If we had binoculars, we could see Tyrion peeing off the side. <laughs> Oh, it said just skip King's Landing. <laughs> we don't need to go there. I can't ever read that, though. Me either. It looks like it says Duff Pack. <laughs> I, don't oh, know. I thought it said Horse Park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those, look. Oh, okay. Hold on. I, no, we ain't supposed to pause. Hold on, let's go back. I just want to see what they are. Though. Um, okay, so. We know that one's the wolf. So wolf. Deer head. That's either a lion head or a serpent head. That looks like a snake head. A snake head and a. Like one of these. Have y'all ever seen this before? Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we don't really know too much about animals. <laughs> not this plant, obviously. <laughs> this, so, is yeah. not, this is not this is not a deer. Channel. Looks like a wolf and either that looks like a dragon or a snake. I'm gonna say a dragon though, honestly. Yeah, because we heard there are dragons on this as long as they don't freaking the dragon talk. Eggs. I'm gonna bring that up again. If they talk, it's over. All right, let's lock in, lock in. Woo. Let's go. I do that noise a lot. <laughs> Would you care He's to He's walking. Ooh. But he's walking? Oh my god, he is walking. This is before? Yeah, this must have been before. Oh my god, that sparrow had three eyes. <gasps> That's a crow or a raven, right? With an extra eye. The little lord's been dreaming again. Maybe it's like a cyclops crow. No, cyclops has one eye. A triclops. Yep. That's yeah, that guy, I don't know who he is. is. Don't want to see anyone. If I was cooped up all day with no one but this old bat for company, I'd go mad. <laughs> Anyway, you don't have a choice. Rob's waiting. I don't want to go. Neither do I. But Rob's Lord of Winterfell, which means I do what he says and you do what I say. Hold on. Hold on. Help Bran down the hall. Dang, he's just gonna lug him around. Any man of the Night's Watch is welcome at Winterfell. But not I, eh, boy? Not your boy, Lannister. I'm Lord of Winterfell while my father is away. And you might learn a Lord's courtesy. So it's true. Hello, Bran. Do you remember anything about what happened? He has no memory of that day. Curious. Why are you here? Neil Hodor. Do you like to ride, Bran? Yes. <laughs> That's kind of a dick thing no, to I say. Mean, I did like to. With the right horse and saddle, even a cripple can ride. I'm not a cripple. Then I'm not a dwarf. My father will rejoice to hear it. I have a gift for you. Give that to your saddler. He'll provide the rest. You must shape the horse to the rider. You start with a yearling and teach Some it to respond to the reins and to the boy's voice. Oh, he's about to go inspect your gadget on him. On horseback, you'll be as tall as any of them. Is he doing this because he did it? Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for cripples, bastards, and broken things. Idle right there. You've done my brother a kindness. The hospitality of Winterfell is yours. Spare me your false courtesies. There's a brothel outside your walls. There I'll find a bed and both of us can sleep easier. <laughs> Yeah, why did he do that? What? That nice thing. Honestly, I'm not sure. Not my master. Of course not. What happened here? Where is Lady Stark? Why didn't she receive me? She's not in Winterfell, is she? Where did she go? The lady's whereabouts. The lady? Not... Your loyalty to your captors is touching. How do you think Balin Greyjoy would feel if you could see his only surviving son has turned lackey? I still remember seeing my father's fleet burn in Lannisport. I believe your uncles were responsible. Must have been a pretty sight. Nothing prettier than watching sailors burn alive. Shame how it all turned out. We were outnumbered ten to one. A stupid rebellion then. Suppose your father realized that when your brothers died in battle. Dang. <laughs> He's talking that junk, ain't he? Careful, imp. I've offended you. Forgive me. It's been a rough morning. Don't despair. I'm a constant disappointment to my own father, and I've learned to live with it. Your next tumble with Ross is on me. Oh my god. I'm so still not sure who that guy is. I don't know, but everyone in the kingdom is going to want to kill this little dude because of his mouth. Right, but do they even know, do these people know that the blade's his? No, obviously not. Well, I don't think they care, right? Just John, maybe? What in seven hours is that? <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Tarly of Horn Hill. I mean, I was of Horn Hill. Come to take the black pudding. <laughs> well, you couldn't be any worse than you look. See what he can do. I don't know. He might take you. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Yield. On your feet. Why Pick is he the there? Sword. Oh, he. What did he do? He must have committed a crime. Right? No, -uh, sometimes he said they can just be hungry. Like they can just be looking for a steady meal because there's like that poor, mm. so they'll join it. Oh, well that sucks. So you could just be. Oh, yeah. oh, no. he yielded. 
Looks like the bastard's in low. That's some ragtag gear, though. Wait, right, when you first start the game, you haven't got your uh -huh. armor up yet. All you gotta do is get past the bastard. You sure, you want to do this? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Drop. Deal, deal, deal. I yield. You didn't even let him go over there. Go clean the armory. That's all you're good for. He's just that unsatisfied coach. You can't win. So basically all day they just stand around and Fight. like halfway train. <laughs> Get told like, that they like suck. Like ragtag training. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the background actors. Call me Sam. <laughs> Too much. They're right just now. like, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> My mother calls me Sam. It's not gonna get any easier, you know. Why didn't you get up and fight? I wanted to. <laughs> I just couldn't. Why not? I'm a coward. The wall's no place for cowards. Well, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you. How do you not like that guy, though? Like, he's so nice. Yeah, he's nice, but he's like liability nice. Bloody coward. He's a bloody coward, yeah? Now they'll think we're cowards too. You're <laughs> to <laughs> too stupid to be a quick now before summer's is over. <laughs> <laughs> nice dodge. <laughs> they called it summer up there. That's tough. <laughs> what in the... are, where are they going? They're across the ocean, right? Mm hmm but they're they're going somewhere. I don't know if they're like, the guy said they ain't had no ship, so are they gonna go get some? Or I don't know how that works. <laughs> you just go get some chips. I wonder if it becomes Why winter there also. City of the horse lords, pile of mud. Mud and shit and twigs, best these savages can do. These are my people now. This is my army. He still doesn't get it, does he? <laughs> Look at this guy, he's like, just, just show some humbleness, my guy. Is that him? The blonde guy? He just taking the lead like they're not going that way anyways? The Dothraki have never crossed the narrow sea. King Robert is fool enough to meet them in open battle. But the men advising him are different. I fought beside them once. Now Ned Stark wants my head. He must have done something bad then because Ned's pretty cool. Sold slaves. That'll do it. I'd no money and an expensive wife. They call you the last dragon. What happened to the dragons? I was told the brave men killed them all. The brave men didn't kill dragons. The brave men rode them. The breath of the greatest dragon fought the Iron Throne, which the usurper is keeping warm for me. Is he talking literally right now or just metaphorically? I don't know. Melted together like so many. Oh, the throne really looks like swords put together though, right? It does. I have always wanted to see a dragon. Seeing a dragon would make me very happy. Well, after 15 years in a pleasure house, I imagine just seeing the sky makes you... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen one? No, the last one died many years before I was born. Dang. I'll tell you what I have seen. Oh, they're extinct, huh? They're skulls. They used to decorate the throne room in the Red Keep. But as you got closer to the Iron Throne, they got bigger and bigger. What did I buy you for? <laughs> to make me sad? Teach your sister. You think I bought you to make Carl Drogo happy? Someday. Your husband will sit there, and you will sit by his side. All the lords of Westeros will gather here to see the little... There is a bunch of swords. I never even noticed. Yeah, it looks so dingy in there, doesn't it? Mm. If you only had girls, I suppose the throne would pass to Prince Joffrey's little brother. And everyone would hate me. Nobody could ever hate you. Joffrey does. Nonsense. That business with the wolves. Sansa, I've told you a hundred times, a dire wolf Please is Please, not... shut up about it. <laughs> Dang. Who built the Iron Throne? Aegon the Conqueror. And who built the Red Keep? What's that? My grandfather and uncle were murdered here, weren't they? On the orders of King Ares, yes. The Mad King. Why were they killed? You should speak to your father about these matters. I don't want to speak to my father. Ever. It's the Hand's tournament that's causing all this trouble, my lord. The Hand wants no part of it. <laughs> Call it what you will, Lord Stark, sir. The city is packed with people and more flooding in every day. I need more men. You'll get 50. Lord Baelish will see it paid for. I will. You found money for the champion's <laughs> purse. You found money to keep the peace. That's right, Ned. There you go. They will be put to good use. The sooner this is over, the better. <laughs> it's his tournament. Why is he so sketch? Like, I just think he's like, something's up with him. What, a little weasel? Yeah. Till tomorrow, my lord. I've been hoping to talk to you about John Arryn. Lord Arryn? I took personal charge of his care. Was that the hand of the king? John Arryn? For him? Uh, not that he said Lord Arryn. No, John Arryn was. I don't know who Lord Arryn is. I have been Grand Maester for many years. What did John want? The night before he died. Oh, he came inquiring after a book. I fear it would be of little interest to you, my lord. I'd like to read it. Oh, so he's trying to get some evidence that his he wasn't he was killed. That the guy was killed. Right. So he's there, like playing detective a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did he say anything to you during his final hours? There was one phrase he kept repeating: "The seed is strong." I think it was. And you're quite certain he died of a natural illness. Well, what else could it be? Poison. 
Oh, I don't think it's likely. What sort of man would dare? I've heard it said that poison is a woman's weapon. Oh, yeah, it kind of is, isn't Women, it? Women, cravens, and eunuchs. <laughs> I only know one of the three of those things. But Lord Varys is a eunuch. Everybody knows that. That's someone without nuts, right? What? A eunuch someone without nuts. What does that mean? You're a eunuch. Like, if you don't have nuts. Or testicles. Sorry, I forgot. There was people watching. I'm pretty eunuchy then. Speak. Okay. Yeah, you're a eunuch. I think that's what it means. It could mean something like more specific, but that's the gist of it. What is this? <laughs> Sirio says a water dancer can stand on one toe for hours. Sirio says every hurt is a lesson. Tomorrow, I'm going to be chasing cats. Sirio says. He says every swordsman should study cats. You have to be quick to catch them. He's right about that. Now the brand's awake, will he come live with us? He needs to get his strength back first. He wants to be Knight of the King's Guard. He could be Lord of a Hold Fast. He'll sit on the King's Council. Or he might raise castles, like Brandon the Builder. Can I be Lord of a Hold Fast? You will marry a High Lord and rule this castle. <laughs> and your sons shall be knights and princes and lords. So he just wants the best for her, huh? Mm. That's not me. He's like, I'm 12, I know this, okay? Yeah, she wants to fight. She wants to learn balance and keep people in the head. Where are we at, the wall? Hello. Oh. <laughs> Sir Alice has said I'm to be your new watch partner. He's like, oh God. <laughs> I don't see all that well. Oh, what does he do well? John seems like a good guy, right? That's the vibe I'm getting. Like a compassionate know. person. You can't fight, you can't see. You're afraid of heights and almost everything else probably. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Sam? On the morning of my 18th name day, my father came to me. I'm not worthy of my land and title. Tomorrow, you're going to take the black. If you do not, then we'll have a hunt. And somewhere in these woods, your horse will stumble and you'll be thrown from your saddle to die. Oh my gosh. Also, I'll tell your mother, nothing would please me more. Dang. Sir Alice is going to make me fight again tomorrow, isn't he? I'm not going to get any better, you know. Not with that attitude. <laughs> I hear you're reading a boring book. I sell talks too much. Oh, he never stopped. <laughs> Do you know Sir Hugh of the Vale? Until recently, he was only a squire. John Aaron's squire. He was knighted almost immediately after his master's untimely death. I'll speak to him. A singularly bad idea. Do you see that boy there? One of Varys' little birds. That little kid was a spy? That's wild, y'all. And do you see that scepter? Oh, it's a oh, bunch of spies. So no? She's one of mine. They all have spies. Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? No. Yes. The wiser answer was no, my lord. Get a message to this paragon of yours. Send him to question Sir Hugh. I have my observers, as I said, and it's possible that they saw Lord Aaron visit this armorer several times in the weeks before his death. Why isn't he investigating that then? Perhaps I was wrong to distrust you. Distrusting me was the wisest thing you've done since you climbed off your horse. Yeah, he's so quick to just give up all this information, but he's sitting there they're in the capital right where the king and queen reside at with all those spies around right and he's just talking it almost makes me think he's leading them to like something he's not supposed to like or like he's lying he's setting them up or yeah. something yeah right manipulating them as you can see i'm busy that's the guy I'm they're looking for of lord Eddard stark dang little brat ah a knight struts around like roosters down here <laughs> even the ones who've never seen an arrow coming their way there's no telling who has eyes where he kind of looks at the knights like the people of King's Landing look at the Knight's Watch. They don't take it seriously. Maybe he just thinks they're arrogant or something. What did Lord Arryn want? Came to see the boy. As you wish, my lord. He said, Ugh, anything to get out of work. Strong for his age. He works hard. Show the hand the helmet to me, lad. This is fine work. It's not for sale. Boy, this is the King's hand. When Lord Arryn came to visit you, what would you talk about? Just ask me questions is all, my lord. What kind of questions? About my work first then he started asking me about my mother what did you tell him she died when i was little she had yellow hair she'd sing to me sometimes i'm really confused that while we're talking to this guy baby who's he supposed to be someone the king's hand want to talk to before he passed if the day ever comes when that boy would rather wield a sword than forge one you send him to me what would ned look like in that helmet though badass king robert's bastard son what oh whoa 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 i heard that right the king. king robert's son is he sure that's what he said how many do you think are in there with him he likes to do this when I'm on duty. It makes me listen as he insults my sister. We've met before, you know. The Siege of Pike. That's where you got your scar. Aye. One of the Greyjoys nearly took my eye. I saw the youngest of the Greyjoy lads at Winterfell. It's like seeing a shark on a mountaintop. Theon, he's a good lad. I doubt it. So he does all that when he has to stand outside the door to torture him. Basically, yeah. But what's his beef with the brother and stuff? Have they explained that already? Or did I miss it? Wait, why do they have so much tension? I think he just don't like Lannisters. That's what I got. Why do you marry one? For maybe for money. Because th remember, they have to borrow all the money and they're so in debt. That's the only conclusion I have is it has to be money related. 
Because they don't like each other. Where have you been? Watch duty with Sam. Ah, Prince Porkchop. He wasn't hungry. Impossible. Oh, they're so rude. Sam's no different from the rest of us. We're not going to hurt him in the training yard anymore. Never again, no matter what Thorne says. He's our brother now, and we're going to protect him. You are in love, Lord Snow. Slap it. You girls can do as you please. But if Thorne puts me up against Lady Piggy, I'm going to slice me off a side of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Can't John, like, whoop all of them at once? Why doesn't he just do that? Some. Dang, his dog has been there. <laughs> Look at that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Piss. Attack him! <laughs> he said, I'm not getting bit up, boy. <laughs> From dead. <or> no. <laughs> Just do a roll and like make it look dramatic. <laughs> oh, what it be? <laughs> 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 oh, he's pissed. You think this is funny, do you? When you're out there, do you want a manager back or a sniveling boy? I understand his side totally, though. Yeah, but the way I see it, man, don't make that guy so mad at you that he ain't willing to, you know, get eight for you. You know what I'm saying? You need him. Yeah. I should have sent you back her head. Forgive me, Khaleesi. I did this you are. Hush now. It's all right. Oh. Yo, we got to punish brother, bro. You do not command I me. I wasn't commanding you. I just wanted to invite you to supper. What's this? It's a gift. <laughs> Had it made for you. Dr. Bracky Rash. Oh, oh my lord. Lord. He's so mean. You next I want to braid my hair. You've no right to a braid. You've won no victories yet. <laughs> Do not talk back to me. <laughs> now you've woken the dragon. He called himself the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's his fighter name. Oh, she just slapped him too. I... I'm a Khaleesi of the Dothraki. Ooh. I am the wife of the great Carl, and I carry his son inside me. The next time. You raise a hand to me will be the last time you have hands. Oh, <laughs> let's go. He hey, needed that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to see her turn into a tyrant because I kind of like her, but yo, he kind of needs that. Yeah. Well, don't you think it's a little bit unfair making us take our vows while they sneak off for a little Sally on the side? <laughs> it's absurd. I didn't think you'd be so upset about it because I'm fat. <laughs> No, but I like girls just as much as you do. They might not like me as much. Poor dude. I've never been with one. You probably had hundreds, as a matter of fact. The same as you. I find that hard to believe. What are you doing, flirting with him? <laughs> I was alone in a room with a naked girl, a whore named Roz. Oh, that's the one that Tyrion was going after. Oh, was it? Why exactly did he not make love to Roz with the perfect... What's my name? Jon Snow. And why is my surname Snow? You're a bastard from the north. Oh, so that's the I default my mother. name? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if she's living or dead. That's why he's not Stark. He just gets Snow because he's like from the north. So I sat there in the brothel as Roz took off her clothes. But I couldn't do it because all I could think was, what if I got her pregnant? She had a child, another bastard named Snow. Dang, a lot of people don't think like that inside a brothel. Thank God he did because he's going to be like 45. He's going to have a kid come up there and it's going to be a son. <laughs> he ain't even going to know. You didn't know where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> you look cool, boy. It's a bit nippy. By the fire, indoors, it's still summer. You boys even remember the last winter. How long's it been now? What, 10 years? I remember. Was it uncomfortable at Winterfell? Were the days when you just couldn't get warm, never mind how many fires your servants built? I build my own fires. That's admirable. I spent six months out there, beyond the wall, during the last winter. Supposed to be a two-week mission. The wildlings who fight for Mansueda are hard men, harder than you'll ever be. They know their country better than we do. They knew. There was a storm coming in. So they hid in their caves and waited for it to pass. And we got caught in the open. It yammed hundred foot trees straight from the ground, roots and all. Like a hurricane or a blizzard. You don't know cold. Neither of you do. The horses died first. Eating the horses was easy. But later when we started to fall, that wasn't easy. We should have had a couple of boys like you along, shouldn't we? They had to eat them. I think he's talking about the dude on the right. Yeah, him. Soft, fat boys like you. We'd have lasted a fortnight on you. Well, good thing he joined. Soon, we'll have new recruits. You lot will be passed along to the Lord Commander. They will call you Men of the Night's Watch. Oh, so I get it. So when you're up there on, in the Night's Watch, you actually have to go on like missions beyond the wall frequently. I guess, I so that's why so. you have to train because you're constantly like in the field doing But I guess only work. certain ones do because Benjen said you have to earn it. Who's so, Benjen? The uncle. His uncle, baby. He in the last in the last one, he went up there and talked to him, and he said he'll be gone for a month. He's Ned's brother. How are you remembering all this crap, though? Because I have to watch it four times, and I take notes. Do you want to see your brother sitting on the Iron Throne? No. The common people are waiting for him. They don't care what games the High Lords play. What do you pray for, Sir Jorah? Home. 
I pray for home too. My brother will never take back the seven kingdoms. He'll never take us home. She had a really big turnaround from I don't want to marry him to now she really wants to rule, huh? Yeah, I, it looks like it. Either that or get away from her brother. <laughs> That's his whole fiance. Coral. Sansa, dear, this is Lord Baelish. He's known an old friend of the family. I've known your mother a long, long time. Why do they call you Littlefinger? That's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I was very small. And I come from a little spit of land called the Fingers, so you see, it's an exceedingly clever nickname. <laughs> what? That's it? Start the damn joust before I piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that being your king. <laughs> yeah, she's miserable. She just wants to go hop on her brother's horse. Oh, God. God what's that? They call him the Mountain. <laughs> the Hound's older brother. And his opponent. So Hugh of the Vale, he was John Aaron's squire. I'm starting to think that guy's kind of an important character, right? The guy with the messed up face, well, his brother. Oh, yeah. He seems like he's like the executioner or something. Something. I've just seen him in every episode almost. Yeah, and they haven't really said much about him. Right. Don't you win this by like dying? The other person dies? I don't know. I've never jousted him. Well, I went to medieval times and <laughs> that's what I thought happened. Yo, we li you ever heard of medieval times? We live like 10 minutes from there. <laughs> And that's the guy he had to question. Ah, oh, everyone just saw that. Welcome to King's Landing. That's your life now, little redhead girl. He looks almost sympathetic. The guy with the messed up face. So yeah, basically I guess to lose you die. Has anyone ever told you the story of the mountain and the hound? The hound was just a pup, six years old maybe. <laughs> Gregor, a few years older, born with a talent for violence. Gregor found his little brother playing with a toy by the fire. Gregor never said a word, he just grabbed his brother by the scruff of his neck and shoved his face into the burning coals. Well, held him there. Is that the true story? Or is that the like exaggerated little finger version? I won't tell anyone, I promise. He just like dropped that on her and said, don't tell anyone, bye. Yeah, but why did I get the feeling that he'd done it like calculated? Yeah, that's what it like, was. He's weird to me. I don't get him. He's conniving. He like shares what he wants and he knows a lot. Or something. I thought we might put what happened on the King's Road behind us. Nah. Ugliness with the wolves. And forcing you to kill the beast was extreme. Though sometimes we go to extremes where our children are concerned. How is Sansa? She likes it here. She's the only Stark who does. Not much of the North in her. What are you doing here? I might ask the same of you. The king called on me to serve him and the realm. And that's what I'll do until he tells me otherwise. You can't change him. You can't help him. He'll do what he wants, which is all he's ever done. You'll try your best to pick up the pieces. She's so bitter. So be it. You're just a soldier, aren't you? Take your orders and you carry on. Your older brother was trained to lead and you were trained to follow. I was also trained to kill my enemies, your grace. That was kind of bold. As was I. Ooh. That was bolder. <laughs> why that was they intense. So, why they so, like that stressed me out that whole conversation gave me anxiety that's wild because that's the hand of the king and then she's the, the queen. queen so yeah. that's like drama she's like what are you doing here like she i think she thinks he's up to something i love the way these look these whatever these are cottages or whatever oh god dear grandfather i'm starving a song bobby white rather throw myself down a well <laughs> any music the northerners know is a howling of wolves Sorry, wow, Lord. they would. Every room. My men can what? sleep in the stable. As for myself, I don't require a large room. Truly, my lord. We have nothing. Is there nothing I can do to remedy this? You can have my room. Oh, there's a clever man. <laughs> nice catch. You can manage food, I trust. My lord of Lannister. Entertain you while you eat. Nothing would more likely ruin my supper. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Stark. Dang. The unexpected pleasure. I was sorry to miss you at Winterfell. Oh, no one in there knew who she was. She's trying to hide. She's trying to. I was still Catelyn Tully the last time I stayed here. Is that the black bat of Harrenhal I see embroidered on your coat? It is, my lady. And is Lady Went a true and honest friend to my father, Lord Hoster Tully of River Run? She is. The Red Stallion was always a welcome sight at River Run. My father counts Jonas Bracken amongst his oldest and most loyal bannermen. A lord is honored by his trust. I don't quite see the purpose of this. Is she trying to drop some cloud on him? I know your sigil as well. The Twin uh -huh. Towers of Frey. How fares your lord, sir? Lord Waldo as well, my lady. He has asked your father for the honor of his presence on his 90th name day. He plans to take another wife. Huh. <laughs> this man. Oh, she's about to accuse him. And there conspired to murder my son. In the name of King Robert and the good lords you serve, I call upon you to seize him and help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice. Oh my gosh. 
That was planned? So that blows up the show, right? They just took a, a family member of this tyrant ass lady. Oh my Whoa. God. That's it already? Okay. Yo, this show is busting. Okay, guys, so that was Cripples, Bastards, and Broken Things. That episode was crazy. So to me, babe, the whole point of that episode was definitely that uh, Ned's wife, I, I'm so bad, I still forget her name. You just call it like Lady Stark? Lady Stark. So Lady Stark <laughs> just basically arrested Tyrion. That's huge. That's a big deal because you see how tyrannical this, this family can be, the queen. The thing about her, baby, she seems very egotistical. So the idea of Lady Stark thinking that she has the uh, authority or the audacity to take a Lannister, basically, and to hold one under bondage of some way just seems like that's really gonna upset her ego and i can see basically i said in an episode before i can see how war is brewing so i'm definitely seeing war coming baby what am i missing okay so my question about what you just said is are they gonna care if they take him like is their family ties that strong that because i feel like to me he's the weakest one of them so are they gonna care or do they know that he tried to kill bran and they're gonna be like okay whatever so what you're thinking or, is the brother of the queen mm, Jamie. Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Jamie. So Jamie pushed a kid out the window, right? So your prediction or what you're thinking is when they done that, they basically tried to pin it on Tyrion. Right. I think they tried to pin it on Tyrion by or somebody. It might have not been them. Maybe not. But or someone they hired. But my thing is, like, if they could pin it on anyone or make any type of story or whatever, why would they pin it on someone so close related to them i don't know because maybe like it happened when they were in the town and it had to be someone i don't know i guess we're gonna see obviously we don't know the answer to that because what you're saying is not really making any sense but i mean that's okay because yeah, we I mean, haven't yeah. seen the show we so. have theories i don't think that that's it. right we're gonna see how this is tying in i don't really know why they went and talked to robert baratheon's son that was in there and there was also some dialogue in there that i definitely need to rewatch. well so. well let me say something if they're gonna if if it was like a huge mystery for that the hand before Ned to look into this guy that means something's up with that guy and when they said it was the king's bastard they stopped that but like to me that means like something important right because isn't that maybe something to the throne or like is that does that make the king like not able to be a king because he has a bastard or does the bastard get to be the king or yeah I mean like I, I don't I know see what, what you're that saying means. you're saying like how does how does the presence of the king's son just being out there in the ether has that affect the politics of like who falls in line I mean it had be to be king. some kind of important for that guy to get killed trying to look into I guess it. there's just more story there. Yeah, there's a out, lot so. more story there. I, I mean, that's just going off my gut thinking like that that guy is a problem. Right. Maybe that's somebody they'll have to murder eventually. I have no idea. But yeah, man, I you know, we've gotten a lot of praise. You guys are doing such a good job. You know, y'all are paying such attention. You're catching all these details. Thank you guys, man. I, I We really appreciate that. It's probably going to get worse. Okay. Yeah. This episode a lot was a lot on. harder to follow yes. to me. Uh, there was definitely a lot of dialogue in there about past relationships and past history in terms of like which just Mad went King like this stuff. a lot because i was like yeah who are these names what I, are you talking about exactly so by the time we watch the next episode guys we'll have a better understanding of what they're talking about and uh, we'll be able to have a better conversation there so um i did see in the comments guys which was a good thing when someone said to understand the episode look to the title and right. the title was cripples bastards and broken things and i think the bastards was important because john kind of had a come up story in this like he kind of was like well i don't know if he had a come up story because that was actually like he the guy was kind of telling them like y'all are this is like fun and games y'all don't know what's about to come y'all this is not cold basically yeah he's saying you just have no i don't know that guy's come. name though it's like slipping my the mind the guy who's basically in charge of the wall yeah area. i guess he's like because like i told you the in the last one upon editing it so much the uncle is the head man okay. of that I so i guess you. that guy we don't know him because he's just the fill-in we met a new character too sam Sam. Right. Uh, really <laughs> easy name to remember because we did watch the Lord of the Rings. Oh, um, and Sam's the best character. Right. And he was just such a like plumpy, sweet dude. So oh, same vibe. I didn't think of that. Right. It's the same vibe yeah. to me. That's oh, what I, I love thought that. immediately. So I hope we um, love him the same. Hopefully he's good. So my prediction is this guy is <laughs> brought on to the show to make you love him. I, babe, I don't think he's going to make it. I think he's my prediction dude. is I think they're going to have to go beyond that wall. And I think that he's going to die. <laughs> and that's going to show the Warriors basically how important it is to really get it together. And I think John will end up doing that so we know khaleesi's pregnant mm -hmm. but also her altercation with her brother where she was trying to like you know give him a gift and and oh, he yeah, calls he's it wild, rags dude. and yeah it's like she's embracing it because i feel like 
she's smarter than him. Oh yeah, definitely. Because he's emotional, she wild. because she's embracing it. I think to figure whatever the next step is, where he's trying to just be like, "Yo, listen to me. You're my army." I mean, blah, yeah, blah, she's blah. definitely playing chess. Right? Yeah, he's playing checkers. She's in the long game. He's in the short game. Right, and she said very clearly, "If you raise your hands to me again next time, you're not going to have any." So there's definitely a power shift there. Like I don't know if that's going to make him lash out. I don't really know much more that's going on over there, really. I mean, I mean, I don't really know what their aim is. Like, well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Because literally, they said they have to cross the sea with ships, and they've literally said that they've never been able to do that. So my prediction is that they're just, I guess, right now they're basically just trying to show you that she's eventually going to be like the queen to drago right the guy so um the brother is going to get pushed out and i guess i guess that's what they're gonna have to do man they're gonna have to find ships so they'll build ships and i guess they'll go across the sea and they'll try to go kill robert and take the throne so that's what i'm seeing happening so far but i think i mean i just if, don't know how they're gonna get ships we'll so. see in my mind when i think that far down the road i think well how would that look maybe if she built a really strong army brought a really strong army over there had like the best ships they could learn how to like you know form some type of navy whatever the case may be maybe they win because what i think the show's trying to do is to show you that king's landing that place where they're at like i say king's landing the king and the king and the queen basically and their whole dynamic of what they got going on looks fractured right yeah the, the hand of the king is basically at open war with the queen so they are not in any position to be battling like an outside invading force mm -hmm. and i think that's where the show is probably going man i think they're gonna get all corrupt know, over man. there and then get like attacked yeah basically that's that's my prediction. they're gonna like destroy themselves within so to say right which is not good but we're starting to pick up on that especially when they were in that courtyard and little finger was like that's a spy that's a spy that's a spy and this is all people on their council this is really like simple minded man because i'm definitely not a writer but i could also see how like they're like oh john get your troops together get your people together like don't you sort of think that maybe it's because later down the story they're gonna have to come in and help the people like their people from the invading force maybe like, like they're comes. gonna have to come together like it's like they're kind of leading it up so they're making it sort of seem like he's gonna lead his basically his army from the north against the invading army to help but the thing that's confusing me about this is like kind of the miscommunication with like the understanding of Tyrion with the blade like it seems like some people know right, and yeah, some yeah. people don't and that's what's confusing me is like right there's a lot going on there <laughs> but also the communication's hard because it's with the raven well there's a lot of like i don't like you we have underlying beef we mug at each other because of the past and there's a lot of dialogue as i was saying that i sort of missed in this i did my best to catch it but i definitely need to rewatch it because i need to understand who is in relation to who in the past mm -hmm. and what happened to make you know present day relations so volatile in a way because there's a lot of negative energy with ned and the queen so but whenever we're talking about the targaryens though aren't they like last of the targaryens like that's the end of the bloodline those two because they've mentioned when they, they say, say that, that they'll say like the last like they'll say because when he said that then he read that note he said that they were like she was ready to like breed someone else and that's why he said war was coming because maybe like she'll come for the throne the kid will you know i'll be honest with you babe that's a little past me if they did say that they were the last of their bloodline i missed it um but i mean that's what i'm saying if their dad was the king before robert is that what? their dad say that again their dad was the king before robert robert jamie killed him remember they've mentioned that oh, like okay okay times. okay okay yeah so you're bro uh, okay so i'll be honest i was a little confused why what the blonde dude's motivation was so his dad was the the king before yeah um, the one who's like hold Let on. them all burn that guy yeah the mad king who said burn them all his name was eris his name was eris, eris. targaryen jamie killed him but the thing about him to me is I don't know exactly how thrones work, but like, you know, in like normal life, your son always gets it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what they're going to try to preach to somebody. I don't know. Like we're going to this guy, the blonde guy, I think he's going to try to tell people like I deserve it because my dad got killed because he got overthrown by. Rebellion. Oh, so he's saying, OK, I, I see what you're saying. So he thinks that he should be like, the like, right I think fool. he thinks like it's his like it's his to take. So to okay. say. that's what I think. OK, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. OK, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, it's mind blowing. Because, yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. This is a lot because, of thinking, like, guys. Because like, if you heck? think about it, how, he's going to have to do so much to get there. But is he the rightful heir to the throne then? I mean, I think like by. Or did his dad just get the throne by conquering? I don't know. I don't know how that else. works. That's what I'm saying. Because like, if they live is... in a land of just conquer, I mean, then there is no right to the throne. It's just whoever, like, survival of the fittest. Right. right. And if that's the rules they play by, that's the rules they play by. I have so. no idea. That, that's something we're going to have to watch more to know, I think. But I don't know, man. All I know, guys, is this junk has <laughs> way too many. Uh, tidbits of information. I'm doing my best to keep up with it. So is Mrs. October. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun watching this, guys. You can like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want the uh, raw, unedited versions of these reactions. A lot of people say and a lot of people ask us if we have to sync the reaction, whatever that means. Uh, no, absolutely not. You get the video 
it looks like this and then we put our faces in the video it's all synced up and that's kind of bizarre to me that a lot of people keep asking that but apparently a lot of creators just and if, make if they do that it. that's like i'm no offense to the creators that do that but that's kind of lazy yeah that's kind of lazy bro um do better no offense i didn't know that if, if y'all just don't know how to do it like google it well i mean they edit the videos and put them on youtube yeah. i don't really know what's up with that guys it's very weird i didn't know that was a thing so uh yeah you guys can get your fully <laughs> you know edited and layered videos right there on patreon man you don't gotta sync nothing you can do it all with just one screen so it's been the octobers I'm, I'm having a blast guys thank you so much for supporting the content like always and we'll be back with some more game of thrones let's go